Okay, so moving along with our navigation, a couple more things to show you. We can also do drop down menus. Go back to, there we go. And it's really easy to do. Um, what we'll do is we'll make this contact this contact link a drop down menu. So how about we do this? Now the first thing we're gonna need is an actual link for our uh, our drop down toggle. So let's delete this. We'll come back to it later. And also before we do that, we have to add a class of drop down to whichever list item that we want to make a drop down menu. You know, it doesn't have to be the last one. It can be any list item uh, within an unordered list. And as I said before, we're gonna need sort of a button or a toggle for the drop down menu. We'll put that on an anchor tag and we'll give it a class of drop down toggle. Something we haven't talked about yet, data attributes, which are part of HTML5. We're gonna call some of the bootstrap JavaScript. We're gonna call it drop down because we want a drop down menu. And um, I want to call this connect. So I'm going to be putting my social media links under this one. And we'll need a B T carrot. And we'll close out our anchor tag. Good. There we go. Now within that list item, we'll need another unordered list, of course. And this one's gonna have a class of drop-down menu. And um, we'll copy and paste one of these right here. And then uh, Command Shift D a few times. And on the first link, I'll put Twitter. And the second one, Facebook. Third one, uh, Google Plus. And finally, we'll have our contact page. We can add another divider. This time we'll just, instead of having a divider vertical, we'll just have a regular divider. Let's create some separation between uh, two types of links. We'll hit save. And we'll go over to our browser, hit refresh. You can see uh, we got this drop down arrow now. And when we click on it, we have a drop down menu. Uh, by default, it comes with this kind of this bubble type thing with an arrow. And uh, our links even have a hover effect. And as you can see, I added that divider for the contact and, and social media pages. Last thing I want to talk about is the responsiveness. If we minimize this window, you can see it looks okay at around tablet size. But if we go all the way down to mobile, our links become a little thrown off and uh, out of order. Also, our dividers no longer have that, uh, that nice element of design. Luckily for us, uh, Bootstrap has a responsive feature for our navigation items, and uh, we can easily make this responsive navigation menu.